Hey, Stock Trading Stu here, and today is June 18th, 2021, and today was a green day. Uh, I'm up $15.98. <laughs> Woo! Of course, that's nothing. Uh, my goal is $100, uh, and wow, I missed it, and I didn't take a, much of any trades. took one trade, and it was successful, and I had another... You know, it was 350 bucks, $340 um, out, and I had another um, about $1,300 of settled funds to deal with. And uh, my clear mind saw many solid trades. Did I take them? No. What do I have to learn from that? I think I have to do more research on fight or flight. Uh, mechanism. I think, uh, you know, I spent all night watching, uh, what's his name? Tom uh, Hogard. I'll put it in the description below. Uh, there's an awesome seven part um, talk that he puts on. It's from Opto CMC. Um, and it was a brilliant talk about how the psychology of a trader is more important than the technical and fundamental skills. And uh, I totally believe it. I read a lot of books about the psychological side of trading. I want to be part of the 10% and not the 90% that fail. And man, his talk was so good. I felt so good going in today. I had a great trade right off the, I mean, my trade, I took it 9.31 a.m. Um, East Coast time. So right when the right when it opened, I took a trade with 100 shares, which is my max share count. I was feeling great. And then uh, I, it was a solid trade. And then I just... I just held back. Uh, you know, I sat out at uh, ALF was a was a killer go, and I saw it before it went. Uh, I hesitated, and then it left. Uh, I hesitated on GREN. Uh, I saw that go, and I predicted it. But guess what? I sat out. I saw TRCH, an awesome run on TRCH. I sat out of that. I saw. T uh, I'm looking at my uh, eight chart screen because I'm laughing at myself. Um, because I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, G-R-A-Y and V-I-N-O and O-R-P-H. There was like six awesome tickers today that ran. And I saw them run before they ran. Um, my screener caught it. I felt good. And then I just sat back and watched it go without me. I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, um, you know, it was green day. But I'm actually um, a little down because... I'm still not figuring out the confidence level that I have to go in and just accept the loss, right? Uh, I can say confidently that I could do that, but when you're up to bat, it's tough, man. It's tough. Uh, so I only took one trade today. I'll go over that. It was uh, right in the open. Uh, one of the big gappers for today was uh, PTIX, as you can see on the screen. Um, not a huge gapper, but it was on the gap uh, screener and, um, I was going to accept the loss. So I, I pushed the trigger button. I, I bought in at three thirty-five, uh, which was like right here at the bottom of this green candle, which was pretty ballsy of me. Uh, you know, I saw this red, this small red, uh, shooting star and then a red hammer. And then I saw this green start to pop and I was like, let's go. And, uh, I did three thirty-five. And then I sat in it for two minutes. So the next candle came up and uh, the next candle came up. And this was 350, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 934, 934 I hopped out. So pretty much at the end of this one, 934, 935. When this thing closed, like right here, uh, 351, I got my fill. So that was a 16 cent win. That's huge. I usually go for 10 cent wins right now. Um, 16 cents was great. Um, of course, a 50 cent win is optimal, but I'm just looking for 10 cent wins to build that confidence. So that was my win. And then, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. It kind of uh, barcoded, you know, up and down a little bit, consolidated in the, um, not so much barcoded, but consolidated in the Bollinger Band. And then it just dropped off. Um, so PTIX was and the volume dropped off too. So PTIX was kind of gone after that, but man, there were so many good opportunities today. And, um, I'm going to do more research on 
fight or flight. I think uh, that's important for everyone to learn. I'm going to try to find videos on how to learn how to um, get past that feeling because it clouds your judgment, it clouds my judgment. Once I'm in the trade or right before I'm ready to take the trade, um, I get a little cold feet and uh, I didn't take the trade. I'm, I'm looking at uh, killer runs today. Um, and I'm laughing at myself, but you know, it was a green day. Okay. I live to see another day. I uh, can't wait till Monday uh, to start that over again, but I'm going to do a lot of research this weekend, see if I can find an exercise that I can do to build that, uh, to build against that trigger of fight or flight, you know, to, to not cloud that judgment and just go in because my max daily loss is $60. So that means I could take six trades with a maximum of $10 loss in each trade. That's the goal. Uh, I only took one, one trade today and it was a win. Uh, what am I doing? I had so much time left on the table to do it. I had all day. I had all day. I sat in front of the computer all day uh, in my trade station. I saw, I saw all these opportunities. I saw these opportunities before they ran. I didn't take it. Um, that's something I have to learn. If you have any tips, drop them in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for some more uh, recap videos like this. Other than that, um, hope you guys had a green day. Hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday.